What's up you guys, it's been Sanity. Today I'm here with my friend Peter from Uncomfortably Fresh Crew. And today he's gonna be teaching you guys how to catch an air flare. Yep, we're gonna be getting to that. So I know sometimes people when they learn air flares they worry about how, how strong I should whip, how hard I should push, um, how to do multiples, but the catch is really, really difficult for them. So that's what I'm gonna be covering today, give you a nice little base, and then you can do as much as you want. All right, so now we're gonna be learning the air flare. I know a lot of people, when they try to learn air flares, they ask about how to whip it, or how to do more. Today, we're just gonna focus on the air flare catch, where I think is very pivotal. Without the catch, kinda hard to do another air flare. So, we're gonna be breaking this tutorial into three segments. The first one is gonna be about handstand pirouettes, or tornadoes, or illusions. The second part is a hollow back. And the third part is a full extension. We'll explain what that is going forward. For those who aren't familiar with it, tornadoes are handstand pirouettes, handstands walking in a circle. That's all it is. I'll demonstrate for you. So that's a tornado. You're just going in a circle. What that's good for is it teaches you how to maintain your balance as you're spinning in a circle. If you notice, my hands were just in a rhythm, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Practice that so that you understand this pattern. Once you get that pattern, it's kind of difficult to fall because you know exactly where to place your hands. All right, cool. The second part, you notice I said a hollow back. And you're wondering, why is a hollow back in there? What it helps with is the chest. Sometimes when someone air flares, they forget to open their chest because that's what's gonna get you over or it's gonna help get you over. So we're gonna just mimic this by doing a hollow back in the middle of that tornado. So watch. Now the key to that is you point your fingers together. Because usually when you do a tornado, you'll probably keep the hands out like this. But what you want is to turn your hands inward. So for clarification, I go counterclockwise. I catch with my right. So as I'm spinning on my left hand, I put my right hand down and point them together as I'm sticking my head through like a hollow back. And if you notice, by doing that, it sticks you to the ground. That's it, that's your catch. Then for the third part is the full extension of the shoulder, my right shoulder, full extension, just like that. What that does, it gives it that look of an air flare you're looking for, that you throw air flare and it looks like you catch on one hand. When actually for this one, you stick this hollow back and you pull the left hand far, as fast as you can away from the right hand. So that's what makes it catch. And that's what you want as your base. So you tornado, hollow back, full extension. So you push your shoulder as far as you can away. That's all. And if you want to accentuate it to make it look more one-handed, where you catch one hand, you just pull again the left hand away from the right hand as soon as you catch. So you go, boom, hollow back, pull it away. It's just really fast. So when you put together the three steps, this is what it should look like first. No whip. Again, no whip. And when you can catch that pretty well, two to three times, then you can go ahead and add the whip. Hands stay the same. All right, so just a little bit of a wrap up. Three steps for catching your air flare is tornado, hollow back with the fingers together, and full extension of your catch arm. I know some of you might be thinking again, where's the whip? How fast should I turn? How do I do more? Right now, focus on the catch. It'll give you a strong base so that when you're ready to do multiple air flares, all you have to do is add the whip or add an extra air flare. And that's pretty much it. So work on your base, get stronger, and good luck. 